Hey, BR Tidwell 55 here. Uh, comment on my last video. Uh, asked about functionality of uh, the desktop, and I just wanted to uh, go ahead and give a little bit of a review on Linux Mint and uh, show, uh, demonstrate rather uh, some of the functionality of it. Start off with. Uh, full disclosure give you an idea what my system is like uh, I have an Intel E200 uh, Pentium dual core 2.2 gigahertz 2 gigs of RAM integrated Intel graphic uh, chip the version of Linux Mint I'm using is a uh, is release 6 uh, codenamed Felicia uses the uh, Linux 2.6.27 uh, dash 7 generic kernel and it comes by default with the GNOME 2.24.1 desktop environment okay I'm going to try to uh, demonstrate a little bit of the functionality of Linux Mint as I review uh, as I review it so one thing that distinguishes Linux Mint from other uh, Linux distributions or GNOME uh, desktops is they consolidated everything into a single menu button sort of like a start menu on uh, on Windows uh, so basically you have a one shot stop place for your places applications your system uh, menus uh, uh, another thing they did was rather than having several different places within the system menu to go to configure your computer uh, which I really like. Uh, they've consolidated all into a single control center. Uh, and there it is. So basically you can come here and tweak everything you need to tweak about the system. Which I think is a big improvement over Ubuntu because Ubuntu it's sort of sort of all over the place. Uh, also if to uh, if you want to add and remove uh, software it's very easy to do uh, you can either use mint install with mint or you can use a synaptic package manager uh, personally I prefer synaptic it does a little bit better job of actually finding available software uh, you know and one thing uh, one thing about uh, synaptic is that or about Linux is if you have software that you don't want you want to uninstall it use the package manager to uninstall it then it's going to be gone it's not going to leave little pieces of itself scattered across your system slow on your system down now uh, and, and that's a big improvement over, over Windows uh, the file manager is called uh, Nautilus. Access that. I double clicked on the computer icon. And uh, you can either, you can view, uh, you have a places view. You also have a tree view, which I really like. And also in this version, you have a, you have basically tab browsing. So if you want to, uh, if you're used to using a tab web browser, sort of the same thing. You can browse your uh, the contents of your uh, file system uh, using uh, using tabs. And of course, normal file operations work the same as any other operating system. You can right-click, uh, cut, copy, paste, uh, move files around, or apparently delete something. There's trash. Uh, icon here right click on an empty trash and you know what it's gone again doesn't leave pieces of itself laying around so anyway that's uh, you now uh, compared to compared to Ubuntu uh, I would say that Linux Mint is much better organized it's easier to find things it's easier to navigate uh, compared to other operating systems uh, 
you know, I showed you in in the in the re, in the overview of my system. I, I do uh, I do dual boot uh, this with XP. I don't have Vista on this system, uh, but I can tell you that uh, Linux Mint uh, is it seems much more responsive as far as opening programs, closing programs. Uh, you don't get uh, you don't often get programs that are for uh, that lock up and have to force quit. I use a Vista machine at work with has basically twice the RAM and a much faster processor as this one that has Vista on it. I tell you, there's just no comparison as far as uh, speed, responsiveness, anything else. Linux Mint is much faster than Windows Vista, and when you add when when you uh, add on the eye candy, you know the the comp is uh, fusion and uh, and, and use uh, Emerald for a for a window decorator. You know, as far as eye candy bling, it's it's just as pretty as Vista, and you can ma uh, you can make it you, you can really configure your desktop to where it looks really really nice. So that's uh, that's my review. Thanks for watching.